The litmus test for artificial general intelligence, or AGI, that I hear more often than not, is that it should display self-awareness or consciousness of some sort to be considered an AGI. I just don't see it going down that way, nowhere close, and I think it's borderline dangerous to set the bar there to begin with. It ignores the disruptive nature of artificial intelligence up to that point, if that point is even achievable, which I have my doubts that it is. And the truth is, I don't think we want a self-aware conscious AI. Do we really need our calculators to be conscious in order to enjoy their benefits? GPT-3's greatest accomplishment, as far as I can tell, is not writing for the most part flawlessly, or coding, but rather it appears to have laid a clear path to an AGI, or something resembling it. Increase the training data set and number of parameters and feed it enough energy and the AI gets stronger. It can't be that simple, could it? It was not long ago that I was making jokes that nested if-then statements does not an AI make and I was in the camp that AI has not really seen any notable progress in decades. After all, the fundamental algorithms used today have been in use for decades, and in some cases, centuries. The only difference is that today we have an incredible amount of computing power at our disposal, and a practically infinite amount of data to train them on. Bayes' theorem, for example, was established in the 1700s. It's that theorem that gave us the naive Bayes probabilistic classifier. It can be expressed as such. And then it can be further boiled down to this. Linear regression algorithms are really just as simple and can be wielded with just a little study. Stumble through a first year linear algebra class and you've got a good basis to understand and work with these algorithms. You're not going to change the world, but you'll be able to at least have an informed discussion. Perhaps the simplest of algorithms, the ones I feel I have a decent understanding of, are decision trees. This is the algorithm I have in mind when I make the joke, if else statements does not an AI make. There really is only a handful of algorithms primarily in use today, under two dozen. This is the go-to argument by people who I find are underestimating the power and impact our current AI exhibits. Just because we are using the same algorithms today, that we have always used, does not mean there has been little to no progress. Far from it. I want to talk about yo-yos. A yo-yo is a ridiculously simple toy with origins as far back as 440 BC. They called them bandalores in the 1700s. You've seen them. They are literally a chunk of wood on the end of a string. But look what you can accomplish with such a simple toy manipulated in different ways. We are learning to play with these algorithms in ever more intricate and marvelous ways. What you practice grows stronger, and the strength portrayed by our current AI shouldn't be downplayed. Incredible things regularly emerge from the simplest of things. That appears to be the rule, not the exception. Our first AGI, and what it will look like, is becoming clearer and clearer as we continue to practice with the tools we have available to us. AGI is simply defined as such, by Wikipedia at least. AGI is the hypothetical intelligence of a machine that has the capacity to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can. To build on this, what I think people expect an artificial general intelligence to actually exhibit is things like common sense, the ability to apply background knowledge to solutions. It should have the ability to transfer learning, to think abstractly, and it should understand causality. That's a tall order, but we are making progress. For instance, GPT-3 looks like it can mimic an understanding of causality. I fed it this prompt. The vase fell to the floor, attempting to see if the AI would draw the conclusion that it broke. My third attempt to elicit this type of response resulted in the following phrase. The vase was always a sort of virtual thing, and when it fell, the human minds just interpreted that as its destruction. So does GPT-3 understand causality? No way, but it looks like it is capable of mimicking it, albeit inconsistently. That's an interesting step forward. I mean, if you can get the correct outcome, whether it's derived in a genuine matter or not, it's still the right outcome, and that has value. At the current rate of improvement, I suspect we will have an AI worthy of a technological singularity prior to 2030. No consciousness or self-awareness required. So can we expect a technological singularity by 2035? If you would have asked me that six months ago, i tell you you were off your rocker. Today, you have my attention. The AI we envision, and the AI we are going to get though, I suspect, are going to be significantly different. We are literally birthing an alien intelligence, one that even the developers of won't fully understand. Our best computer scientists, today, don't fully understand how our AI works. I suspect we are going to have a series of extremely powerful narrow AIs working exclusively on the problems they were built to solve. 
Their outputs will be able to be interpreted by other AIs in some cases, but they will not work in tandem. I suspect these systems will work independently of one another for some time to come. That being said, I don't see why an AGI needs to think like a human. I really don't think it ever will. In many cases, AI development is achieved through the things we are able to accomplish, not the things we want to accomplish. Trial and error, experimentation. We want autonomous vehicles to have the ability to navigate busy parking lots, but we can't achieve that and I don't think we will for some time. I suspect we will change our environments to meet the abilities of an AI before we make the AI meet the needs of the environment. Our physical spaces will change to accommodate the AI's abilities. We are already seeing this occurring in our warehouses. These spaces are built with robots in mind, more often than humans. In closing, I think we need to dispense with terms like AGI and all the expectations that come with them. Narrow AIs will continue to work in silos for the foreseeable future, but the sum of their abilities will bring about outcomes worthy of an AGI, at least when you measure outcomes. A technological singularity where the AGI will not need to be conscious or self-aware, or even exhibit common sense or an understanding of things like causality. It will need to produce outcomes that humans alone are unable to achieve. Thank you for listening. If you like my work, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and remember, this ride is not without risk. Be careful out there, and take care.